1. Which of the following best describes the purpose of root cause analysis? A. To identify superficial problems. B. To isolate and solve the primary issue causing a problem. C. To document known risks. D. To implement quick fixes. Two. A company's revenue increases by 15% annually. If revenue this year is $1 million, what will it be in two years? A. $1,150,000 B. $1,322,500 C. $1,380,000 D. $1,500,000 3. During a project, the team discovers that key resources are overallocated. What should the project manager do first? A. Reduce project scope. B. Adjust resource assignments. C. Request additional funding. D. Cancel non-essential tasks. Four. When analyzing trends, which visualization is most effective for showing changes over time? A. Bar chart. B. Line graph. C. Pie chart. D. Scatter plot. Five. Which of the following tools is commonly used for brainstorming ideas in a team setting? A. Gantt chart. B. Fishbone diagram. C. Affinity diagram. D. Pareto chart. Six. What is the main purpose of a SWOT analysis? A. To create a financial budget. B. To evaluate strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. C. To identify technical risks. D. To prioritize tasks in a project. Seven. If 60% of a project is complete and the team has spent $120,000, what is the cost to complete the project assuming the same rate? A. $80,000 B. $120,000 C. $140,000 D. $200,000 8. A key stakeholder requests a significant change during the final stages of a project. What is the best course of action? A. Ignore the request. B. Evaluate the impact on the project scope, timeline, and budget. C. Accept the change without evaluation. D. Restart the project. Nine, what is the most efficient way to prioritize tasks in a project? 
A. Assign all tasks equally. B. Use the Moscow method. C. Focus only on urgent tasks. D. Complete tasks with the least effort first. Ten. Which problem-solving technique involves systematically breaking down a problem into smaller parts? A. Brainstorming B. Process mapping C. Root cause analysis D. Decomposition Eleven. Which of the following programming paradigms emphasizes the use of objects and their interactions? A. Procedural programming. B. Object-oriented programming. C. Functional programming. D. Declarative programming. Twelve. What does SQL stand for? A. Structured Question Language B. System Query Logic C. Structured Query Language D. Sequential Query Language Thirteen. In project management, what does the critical path represent? A. The shortest path to project completion. B. Tasks with the least importance. C. The sequence of tasks that determines the project duration. D. Tasks with the highest budget. 14. Which of the following is not a part of the Agile methodology? A. Sprints. B. Backlogs. C. Waterfall phases. D. Daily stand-ups. 15. Which cybersecurity principle focuses on ensuring only authorized individuals have access to specific data? A. Integrity. B. Availability. C. Confidentiality. D. Authentication. 16. Which of the following is the most effective way to communicate critical project updates to stakeholders? A. Email. B. Instant messaging. C. Presentation during a meeting. D. Social media. 17. When delivering a presentation, which of these is the best practice? A. Read slides word for word. B. Use visual aids sparingly to complement your speech. C. Focus entirely on the data without storytelling. D. Avoid addressing audience questions until the end. 18. How can a team member demonstrate active listening during a meeting? 
A. Maintaining eye contact and asking clarifying questions. B. Multitasking to save time. C. Repeating the speaker's points verbatim. D. Taking notes silently without engaging. Nineteen. Which of the following is the most appropriate email subject line for a project delay? A. Quick update. B. Project XYZ, revised timeline. C. Problems with the project. D. Important. Twenty. What is the primary benefit of using SMART goals in professional communication? A. Vague objectives for flexibility. B. Detailed timelines for efficiency. C. Clear and measurable targets. D. Unrestricted creativity. Twenty one. A team member consistently misses deadlines. What should you do first? A. Report them to management. B. Offer support and discuss challenges they may be facing. C. Assign tasks to other members. D. Ignore the issue. 22. Your manager provides conflicting instructions for a task. What is the best course of action? A. Ignore the instructions. B. Follow the instructions you prefer. C. Seek clarification from the manager. D. Ask a coworker for guidance. 4. The STAR assessment test is a professional level evaluation designed to measure an individual's analytical thinking, problem-solving abilities, technical expertise, and leadership skills in workplace scenarios. The test uses a combination of multiple choice questions that assess critical reasoning, communication effectiveness, project management aptitude, and technical knowledge across various domains. It emphasizes real-world applications, focusing on a candidate's ability to evaluate situations, prioritize tasks, make informed decisions, and demonstrate collaborative behavior in diverse and dynamic environments. Widely used in hiring, training, and professional development, the STAR assessment test helps organizations identify high-potential talent and supports individuals in understanding and refining their skills for career advancement. Here are five top beneficial uses of STAR. 1. Talent Identification and Recruitment the STAR assessment test helps employers identify top candidates by evaluating their problem-solving abilities, technical expertise, and decision-making skills. It ensures that the hiring process focuses on finding individuals who are well-suited for the specific challenges of the role. 2. Employee Development and Training Organizations can use the test to assess employees' current competencies, identify skill gaps, and create targeted training programs. This ensures that team members continue to grow professionally and contribute effectively to organizational goals. 3. Leadership Assessment and Succession Planning The test evaluates critical leadership traits, such as strategic thinking, collaboration, and conflict resolution, making it valuable for identifying future leaders and preparing them for advanced responsibilities. 4. 
performance evaluation and benchmarking. The test provides an objective measure of an individual's skills, allowing employers to benchmark performance across teams or departments. This supports fair evaluations and promotes continuous improvement. 5. Career Guidance and Self-Improvement For professionals, the STAR Assessment Test offers insights into their strengths and weaknesses, helping them make informed career decisions, set goals, and focus on areas for self-improvement to achieve their long-term ambitions.